Hello everyone and welcome back to part three of the Back to the Basics series. Today is all about doodles and I am so excited because doodling is one of my very favorite things to do and it's one of my favorite things to teach. I get so many questions from people about how I doodle or how I learn to doodle and really it all stems from some pretty basic techniques that I'm going to show you today which includes just drawing basic shapes and breaking those shapes down and then putting them back together to make more intricate doodles. So with that, we will jump right in and I hope you enjoy this video. You just need a pencil and eraser and a black pen for this. And I'm gonna show you from start to finish exactly how I've learned how to doodle and how you can pretty much doodle anything with a few easy tips. So we're gonna start off with just learning how to draw just some basic shapes because pretty much anything you're gonna doodle is going to have basic shapes. So one thing that I tell the students in my courses to do is to practice making shapes. So you might practice drawing a square over and over and maybe you make a little one and a big one and maybe one that's kind of diamond so like it's rotated um, so that's one shape and the other shapes that we'll use pretty frequently are going to be circles and circles are tough but they don't have to be perfect especially when you're first sketching out your doodles so just practice making some circles and then extending off the square we can do some rectangles and off the circle we can do some oval shapes so just elongated so you might elongate it horizontally and also vertically or diagonally and then the last shape that is really important is going to be like a triangle so practice making those in different varieties so some smaller bigger maybe you make a really tall and narrow one or a really wide one so that is the very first step to doodling is just knowing some basic shapes and then being able to break doodles down into those shapes so that's what we're going to do next and we're going to start in pencil with all of these because we're going to just make some rough sketched outlines and then we can go back and refine those shapes into a more doodle like effect so the first thing we're going to doodle is a journal i just picked out a bunch of doodles that I get a lot of comments on and a lot of requests on and that I enjoy doodling. So let's make a vertical rectangle. So we want the top and bottoms to be shorter than the sides. So there's one. Now I want you to make the exact same rectangle connected directly to it. So the mine is one, two, three wide. So I'm going to go three wide and then come down and connect it. So now we just have two rectangles side by side and it already kind of resembles a journal. We can kind of see it if we can imagine it, right? So from here, we can refine this shape. So we can add some curves to our pages. So I can take this one and curve it up and curve this one up and curve this one up and this one up. And that's why I start in pencil is if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. Now let's go over those lines that we just drew with our pen. Now we're not gonna go over the actual rectangle, we're gonna go over these curved lines and then the edge lines. So we'll start in the middle and just draw our line down. So now I'm gonna follow this curved line and then bring it down and then have another curved line here and another curved line on the bottom of this rectangle and then a curved line at the top. So we started with two really simple shapes and we've already taken and made them more realistic. Now we can add a little bit more to this and you can do your, this in pencil or you can just go ahead and do it in pen. Um, you can take and add a rectangle that comes around. So this would be like the cover of your journal. So it'll start a little ways down from the pages and then it comes straight out. So like a rectangle and you can choose to add a little binding. So you might add a little bump right here where the binding would be and then just connect it. And then the last step would be to erase and then add in any details that you wanted to add to this. 
So now that the pencil lines are all erased, you can see that we're left with something that definitely resembles a journal. And like I said, then you can just go in with either a finer point pen or colors and you can really spruce up this doodle to make it your own. So that's the first one. Next, let's move on to something that has some different shapes. So we're gonna do a pineapple. I get asked about pineapples all the time. They are some of my favorite doodles and a lot of other people seem to really enjoy them too. So the basic shape of a pineapple is gonna be a vertical oval. It doesn't have to be perfect yet, so just make your oval. And once it's there, we can kind of refine that. So a pineapple is typically a little bit more narrow at the top and wider at the bottom. So if you wanna bring this top piece in, you just kind of follow that line and sketch it in there. And do this in pencil so that you can change things. If you don't like the shape of it, it can always be changed. Like that and then for the leaves if we were to look at like the most basic broke down version of a pineapple that we could they would look similar to triangles so you can just start by kind of making some triangles let's just make three for the bottom and then we have them here and they just kind of build up to a point so I'm just gonna keep adding these in and then we have one at the top so see how all of those have a very stiff shape to them. They don't have like any bends. Well, we can go back and we can refine that. So now I'm gonna grab my pen again and we'll trace over the bottom of our pineapple first. So I'm gonna trace these interior lines right here because I refined that shape to make it a little bit narrower. And then just keep going with the bottom of it. Okay, so there is the bottom shape of our pineapple. Now to refine these top shapes, the only thing I really wanna do is I want to add a little bit of a curve at the end. So again, you can just do this in your pencil or you can go right in with your pen and kind of follow the lines and then make adjustments as you go. So on this side one, I'm gonna follow this out and then I'm gonna kind of curve it. Not a lot, it's just a little curve and do the same thing here. So then I'll follow this one exactly as it is. And on these outside leaves, I'm going to add that little bit of a bend in the leaf. So a bend here and a bend here and a little slight bend in that one and a slight bend in that one. And then just bring this one straight up just as it is. And again, now we can erase and then you can go through and add your fine details. So once it's erased, we can go through with our fine line pen and we can add details. Now the easiest way to do a pineapple, in my opinion, is to draw straight diagonal lines. So we're gonna start on the left hand side of the pineapple and we're gonna draw a diagonal line down and to the right. So here, and then move up a little. Not You don't want them super close together, but you don't want them super far apart. Make a parallel line and just keep going, trying to keep the space between them pretty even. Now we're going to flip that diagonal line so that we create like a grid. So instead now, we'll start on the left hand side and draw a diagonal line up and to the right with similar spacing. And from here you can add any other details that you want to add to your doodle. All right, the next one is another piece of fruit and this is a different shape. So I want you to take your pencil and we are going to draw a half of an oval. So you can start either, there are two ways to do this. You can either just draw the oval and it's a little wonky and that's okay. Or you can just start with half an oval. So you create that straight line and then the bottom of your oval. So because this one looks better, we are gonna go with this one. So I just created, I just drew a straight horizontal line and then made half of an oval shape on the bottom. So now we can just start filling in our details. So a watermelon has a rind, so we're gonna follow this line exactly right inside that shape, like that. And then we can use our pen to go over it And then I'll use my fine line pen, the even smaller one, to add some seeds. And when I draw seeds, I just do these tiny teardrop shapes. So they're rounded at the bottom and pointed at the top. 
and they're just kind of sporadically placed. So like that, and again, just erase your pencil lines, and there you have a half of a watermelon. So I wanna get into some that you can use in your journal as either icons or something that would be effective and useful and that you might continuously draw over and over. So one that I draw quite often is a dumbbell and I use that when I am logging my workouts. So we'll start with our pencil and if we think of a dumbbell and do a rough sketch of one, you kind of have these two rectangles on the sides and then you have a long, narrow rectangle down the side. And so from here, we can definitely refine this. This is the most basic, broke down version of this doodle. So from here, we can refine it and we can say, okay, we want our corners to be kind of rounded here on the ends of these. I wanna make sure they're straight up and down. And then maybe we wanna add another rectangle coming off the sides. Heavy lifters, yeah. And then <laughs> the bar comes out here too. So we're just gonna take this line and the easiest way to do this, sorry, is to draw this line just straight across with your pencil. So bring it all the way through and then up and bring this one all the way through. Then those match up evenly. And now obviously we will not ink in these lines that are where the weight actually is. So. Now, when we grab our pen, we have to consciously remember that there are certain lines that we are not inking in. So I'll start with this weight, and I have these rounded corners. And the same with this one. And then we'll add on these. And now we'll go through and ink in the bar but we aren't inking where they're inside of these actual weights. And I'm gonna rotate my page because I do find that I draw better straight lines when my paper is vertically and I'm drawing, bringing the pen towards myself rather than trying to draw a horizontal line. So just like that. And again, you can just erase what pencil lines you have left and then you could go ahead and fill in any details or add color however you wanted to. The next one you might use would be a water bottle. So this is another one that's gonna start with that rectangle shape. So we're just going to draw a rectangle and I'm gonna start by rounding out my edges. You don't have to, you could just draw a regular rectangle. And then, I suppose it depends on the kind of water bottle you wanna draw. I'm gonna draw the one that has the, the big cap on the top and the big drinking hole. So then we have another rectangle on top for the lid and there's this piece that connects right here that holds it together and then there's like this little cap on top just like that so that's the basic form of it and then you could refine these shapes to make these edges rounder and add a little bit of a roundness to the bottom um, and then with our pen we can ink over this and then i'll show you how i would add the details to something like this so I'm gonna start at the top and drag my lines down because that's how I get the straightest lines. And then I'm gonna add this rounded bottom on it just to give it that, a little bit of a realistic effect. Not super realistic, but a little. So we add our cap, add this little piece. And now, because this piece is so small, I'm going to go ahead and use my smaller pen. So this is a 0 0.1, and this is the strap that keeps the lid connected to the bottle. And I'm just gonna make this really thin ring. So there is that, and then I'm going to erase my pencil. And now I'm gonna add fine details. So the lid has little lines on it, so I'm just gonna make these straight vertical lines. And then you usually have markings on a water bottle for volume. So you might do something like two short and one long, and then two short and then one long and do that all the way to the bottom like that and you might add a second rounded piece that rounds the opposite way and this would be the back edge of that water bottle and that's totally up to you so that would be the finished doodle for a water bottle something like the dumbbells i might add some shadows with little lines so yeah, i might just take little lines along the edge of these right here 
just short, tiny strokes. And do the same here. And this is all personal style. You will find your own personal style as you doodle more and find what you like and what appeals to you the very most. So don't feel like you have to copy what I'm doing. You can do your own thing, um, getting the basics down and looking at something and being able to pull apart the shapes and then draw them as simple shapes and then refine those shapes is the biggest part. Once you do that, you can mess with your doodles any way you want and make them look however you like. So the next one we'll do is going to be a ice cream cone because we haven't done anything really with a triangle shape so other than the pineapple so I wanted to do something so we're gonna start with that basic the cone so that's like an elongated triangle that's upside down so there's our triangle and then we want to add some ice cream on top so we're gonna make these circles and they're gonna overlap the ice cream Ooh. they don't have to be perfect and then you have a second scoop on top of that Okay, so that's the basics. We know what it is. Looking at it, we know what it's going to be. It's just not there all the way. So this is where you would start adding little bits of refined shapes. So you might wanna add like a lip on your ice cream here. So they're just these little round bubbly shapes. And maybe they come all the way here. So instead of tracing over that circle all the way or tracing over that top of this triangle, now we're just gonna trace these bubbly shapes. For this one, for the top ice cream, it is sitting on top of this. So we might wanna do the same here and add these little like bubble shapes around it. Like that. So now when we go to ink, again, we just have to be conscious of which lines we are actually inking in. So I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. So I'm gonna start with this top one and I'm gonna ink all these little bubbles because I remember that those are what I actually want to ink. I don't want to ink this line here of the top of this first scoop of ice cream. So then here and here, and then again these little ripples along the edge. And then the last thing is to add the cone. So we'll just ink right over the cone like that. And then we'll erase our pencil lines before we go in and add our details. Okay, so now we'll add any details that we wanna add. So similarly to the pineapple, we can add the diagonal grid to our cone, or you can just do one set of diagonal lines. Again, that's just a preference thing, whatever you wanna do, whatever look you're trying to achieve. So we can do that and then let's add some toppings. So we're gonna do some uh, like fudge topping or strawberry or whatever. So it's kind of dripping off the ice cream. So we're just gonna make these droopy marks. So they're just like rounded and they come up and down and they vary. They don't have to be exact, just like that. And then the last thing would be to draw some little teeny tiny ovals to add some sprinkles. Like that and there you have a really cute doodled ice cream um, the next one I want to do is going to be a phone and because I have an iPhone we're gonna draw an iPhone so we're gonna start with our very basic shape the very basic shape of an iPhone is going to be a rectangle so a vertical rectangle I'm not gonna round out any of my corners yet I'm gonna look and decide if that looks right. And to me, it looks like my rectangle could be a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna extend it a little farther down. Okay, that looks right. So now I don't want these sharp corners. I want to round them out. So with my pencil, I'm just gonna kind of put in my guidelines of how I want these rounded corners. And then I need to make the inside phone screen. So these are all things you can use to just decorate your journal. You can use them to um, just decorate your monthly pages or weekly pages. You can also turn these into little icons. Say if you need to call somebody for an appointment, sometimes being able to see a doodle um, will help you remember more, or if you have to doodle it, will help you remember more than just writing it down. So I drew out the basic shapes, which is this vertical rectangle, and then a vertical rectangle inside for the screen and then the circle for the home button. 
So now we can go back with our pen and ink over our drawing, remembering that we have these rounded corners. And then the screen. And the home button. So then when we're done with our bigger pen for the outline and all the main parts of our doodle, we can go in with our smaller pen and add fine details. So from here, you can kind of just decide on what you want to do. So you might add the home button up top, which is this, this teeny tiny rectangle. And then you can decide what you want on the screen. So I believe, I'm not even sure actually when anybody calls on the iPhone, but we're just going to draw a phone. So like a half moon shape or half of an oval. And you can do this in pencil. Now we're going to make a short straight line, not connecting. So we're leaving the center of that open. And then we're drawing kind of like a phone shape. So like a C. And then you can add a cord to it. And you have your answer button and your decline button. So maybe you put an X here and a check mark here. This is totally up to you. Again, these are all just added things that you can do with your doodles. You don't have to put anything on your screen if you don't want to. So there's another one and then let's do probably another one of the most requested and then we will probably wrap up this lesson. So one of the other most requested doodles that I do is just basic flowers. People love to draw flowers, they're beautiful. Um, they can be incorporated into just about any month of the year, so they're great. So I wanted to show you just a couple simple floral doodles. I have a couple other videos on these, but I wanted to show you a couple on this video. So the first one, we'll just do some daisies and we'll do them in different varieties. So the first one, you're just gonna start with your circle in the center. And now for the petals, we're going to be creating long oval shapes. So these really narrow long ovals and they're just gonna come right off this circle and extend out and then just decide how long you want them to be. So we'll do this in pen pencil first. And then again, we'll just go back and ink with our pen. I really like doing flowers in pencil first because making the leaves or the making the petals um, symmetrical all the way around can be really challenging and I often screw it up when I just go in directly with pen. So now we can ink in our flower. So I like to start with the center piece just so that I know exactly where all of my petals are coming out of. Okay, so now we'll erase our pencil lines and we are left with a daisy flower and then you can add a stem and you can either make it straight or you can add some curve to it. And then you can add your leaf shape. So a leaf is going to be a teardrop shape. So rounded at the bottom and pointy at the top. Like that. And then the other way that you can draw a daisy that I really enjoy, or you can add them and mix them up together to create a bouquet or just a floral arrangement scene, is you're going to create a half circle. So you create that arch and then you add a straight line to connect them. And now our daisy is pointed upwards and we're going to have all the petals extending out the bottom. So for this, I'm going to use my pencil again to add in these petals. So the same shape, you're gonna use those ovals and they all kind of come back to that center point. Just like that, and then we can ink over those
and add our stem. So with a flower like this, you're often gonna have a stem. You have to imagine that the stem is connected to this centerpiece. So it's going to be bent like that, right? And then again, you can just add any leaves you want onto it. So that's about all I have for you guys for this doodling lesson. Um, once you can break things down into these basic shapes, and maybe come up with a few other shapes that you see, um, you can really doodle just about anything. My biggest tips are to look at things and see shapes, and to always start in pencil. Even if you are confident and think that you can go in with pen, it's always best to start in pencil. That way if you do mess up, um, you aren't disappointed, and you can just erase and start over. So those are the doodles. I hope you guys come up with some of your own and if you'd like to share them with me, please do so over on Instagram and tag me at the Petite Planner. I would love to see what you're doing. And in the following videos, we're gonna start putting all everything we've learned in the Back to Basics series together and we will create a weekly spread. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video and I will see you in the next video.